Hi, I'm Shelly Levette with ChildCareLand.com and today I want to share with you a Christmas pom-pom drop. We have this set up in our math center and it's super awesome for fine motor skills development. You just need to have red and green pom-poms and then I used a disposable Ziploc container. These are found um, anywhere now for people to put their cookies in. They're in the grocery stores or at Walmart. They usually come in a set of three, three to four. It's not uh, very big. But it's perfect for the size of activity. You don't have to use white. You can choose whatever color you want. You don't have to use this kind of container. You can use a clear one if you want to. But on the top of this, we have the lid. It just snaps on. And then on the top, there's a hole that's drilled into the middle of this. You can have one hole or several holes. It's up to you, but I just wanted to do the one for this one. And it's just a little bit smaller than the actual pom-poms themselves. So the children will have to kind of push it through. Um, after they pick up the pom-pom to put it in there. And so what they do is they have it set out just like this. And uh, this activity will also come with um, this right here. It's optional for the children to fill out uh, once they have put all the pom-poms in and then they count them on there. And I have this available on my website. I'll link that up for you. So they would sit down and they would just start picking up their pom-poms and pushing them through the hole on the top. On there and how many pom-poms you put out for them to do is totally up to you if you're going to do the counting sheet you want to make it something manageable you don't want to have like 50 pom-poms and um, children can't count that high so make sure if you're going to do the, the counting sheet where they record the number of pom-poms for the red the green and then the both the red and the green kind of a sneaky way of sneaking of a sneaky way of sneaking addition into this activity we count the number of red count the number of green and then the two combined on there and again you want to have a number that's manageable for the children if you're going to use that sheet otherwise this is still a great standalone fine motor skills activity for them to do and they love this they can just open up the top empty them back out and then they start doing it all over again. But again, I think the key for this is to have just a little bit smaller. And uh, you can use an exacto knife on here, but I had my husband cut this out for me with his drill. So if you know somebody who's got some tools, or if you're in a school system, maybe uh, some of you have a, in a shop, a woodworking shop at your school, anybody, friend, neighbor, but you really want to get that um, a nice smooth. Uh, hole on the top here for the children so it's not jagged for their fingers. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do so so you can be notified when new videos are released. And also sign up for my free weekly newsletter at childcareland.com. And if you like the ideas and materials that I present in these videos, please like, comment, and share. For a pom-pom, Christmas pom-pom drop, I'm Shelly Levette with childcareland.com. And thanks for watching.